When I play that hymn, I'm sure that what you think about is, that sounds like St. Olaf College and F. Malius Chris Johnson. Well, you're right. I'm Philip Brunel, Artistic Director and Founder of Vocal Lessons and Organist Choir Master at Plymouth Congregational Church in Minneapolis. And today's composer and arranger is F. Malius Chris Johnson. Born in 1871, died in 1955. He was born in Norway. He's a composer, conductor, violinist, and organist. He, uh, at age three, started playing the clarinet. At age six, he was in a marching band that his father had. At age 17, he moved to the United States, first in California, then in Wisconsin, and finally in Minneapolis. He went to Augsburg College and to Northwestern University, Northwestern Conservatory of Music, he went for a time to Leipzig, where he studied with Gustav Schreck, counterpoint, conducting, and composition. And then in 1903, he was invited to go to St. Olaf College. He took the train from Minneapolis down to Northfield, Minnesota, went there and was asked if he would direct the band, the chorus, teach violin and music theory, which he did. In 1912 is when he began his time with what became known as the St. Olaf Choir. And he conducted that choir from 1912 until 1944. He did more than 250 arrangements of choral music, and he was especially interested in it being a cappella. So he at the beginning did some of the big oratorios, but he really went away from that and wanted to do the a cappella music that he felt was perfect for the St. Olaf Choir. Beautiful Savior, the piece I began with, was a piece that he arranged in 1919. He often would take a, a, a melody that might have been from hundreds of years ago, like this melody of Isak, Heinrich Isak, that you hear. And then what he would do, arranging it, would be, for instance, to have the women go while over that, a baritone solo. So you'd hear this. And then after having that verse, then the choir could come back in. He also took an old Finnish folk melody, and I always remember this one. It's called Lost in the Night, and many, many, many choirs over the years have sung this piece. He, it was written in the 1920s, arranged. I played it once for friends in Sweden, and they started smiling, and I said, what's the matter? And they said, well, you know, what has now happened in this is a translation that is sacred, but in the original, it was not a, sec a sacred song, it was a secular song. And so when the word said, uh, will the day come soon, he is coming soon, they said, oh, but this had to do with just the fact of someone lost out on the hills. It wasn't about Jesus. Well, these things all can change over the years. And the one we knew was the one that was about Advent and lost in the night. So you have this little introduction before it even begins. <laughs> Thank you. 
and then the melody. And then what Ephemerius Christiansen did was to have the men begin a little ostinato of He is Coming Soon. While the solo soprano sang that familiar melody. And went on from there. It's a beautiful, wonderful piece, Lost in the Night. Another one that he did, which is still sung, and deservedly so, is a piece that is called Lullaby on Christmas Eve. It was uh, a piece that was written for a soprano in the St. Olaf Choir, Gertrude Overby, and it's been taken up over the years by a number of choirs and all you need, really, is a wonderful soprano soloist to do it. And with it, you hear the background, a kind of beautiful lullaby, the choir humming. And then the solo. Music of F. Malius Chris Johnson. Have a wonderful day.